8 Common Symptoms of a Bad Torque Converter Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel, EH Cars. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any upcoming videos from me. Almost nobody realizes that when you drive an automatic transmission automobile, the torque converter in your vehicle is completely under your control. This is so that torque converters can transmit the power that your car's engine produces to the transmission. As a result, each time your automobile changed gears, you instructed its torque converter. There is a global market for torque converters since they are so vital to the world's auto industry. Torque converter issues significantly impact the functionality and driving safety of your car. You need to be aware of the torque converter issues that will make your automobile inoperable once it fails. Additionally, you must pursue workable choices that will enable you to fix your torque converter. In this video, you will find out the most common torque converter issues and their solutions. 1. Verify the engine light. The check engine light is the first sign on our list of signs of a malfunctioning torque converter. The transmission still has several solenoids that control the torque converter's operation even though it is not directly connected to the PCM. If one of these solenoids fails, the gearbox's check engine light will be on. However, until the torque converter is taken out of the automobile and thoroughly inspected, you will never be able to tell if it is actually damaged. 2. Improper Converter Torque Noise the torque converter noise is the third sign on our list of signs of a malfunctioning torque converter. You might at first assume that a faulty transmission is to blame for this. However, since this converter might sometimes result in issues like these, this isn't always the case. What sounds emanate from this component most frequently? The whining noise is the most typical sound connected to a damaged torque converter. These whining noises appear whenever the torque converter begins to malfunction. These noises are essentially the same as when a power steering pump begins to fail. 3. Variable Vehicle Speed The uneven automobile speed is another sign of a malfunctioning torque converter on our list. A faulty torque converter clutch pack is frequently the culprit in this. Numerous factors, such as aging, injury, or wear and tear, may be to blame for this. A loose serpentine belt is among the most frequent causes of squealing. The belt will lose its correct tension and contact with all of the pulleys as it starts to loosen. 4. Communication Shutter The gearbox shutter is the third sign on our list of signs of a malfunctioning torque converter. A gearbox shutter occurs when the clutches inside the torque converter aren't functioning properly. 5. Overheating of the transmission the circumstance in which your gearbox begins to overheat is the next sign on our list of signs of a damaged torque converter. On these gearboxes with worn torque converters, this is frequently the case. The gearbox fluid is filled with a ton of clutch debris. In essence, this fluid overheats the gearbox and gives you problems. When this happens, the transmission may cease shifting, or the car may alert you to stop driving so it can cool down. 6. Transmission Slipping Gears the gearbox sliding gears is the next sign on our list of indicators of a malfunctioning torque converter. This is a very typical problem when the torque converter breaks. Simply said, the torque converter is internally broken and unable to manage the gearbox fluid properly. Fluid can be injected into the automatic gearbox either in excess or insufficiently. And when this occurs, the transmission will slide gears. 7. Stalling Conditions the stalling problem is the final sign of a faulty torque converter on our list. When the torque converter malfunctions, the engine will either stall at the starter or its RPMs will rise. Diagnose troubleshooting repair for transmission gearbox issues. 8. The car won't move. If your vehicle is absolutely immobile in either drive or reverse gear, a malfunctioning torque converter may be to blame. But before changing anything, a car that won't shift into gear should be carefully examined as several potential causes exist. That's it for today's video, don't forget to share your views in the comments section below, and give this video a thumbs up. Stay tuned to our channel for more tips and interesting facts about your vehicle.